In this tutorial, we will learn sketch commands. To change the unit, click on the arrow before the document settings and click on this symbol change active units. And from here, you can choose the desired unit. Right now, I want to create in millimeter. Millimeter is already there. I will cancel it. Then click on create sketch. Select the plane on which you want to create the sketch. I will take this horizontal plane. If you want to pan the screen, press scroll and drag the mouse. At first we will create line. Keyboard shortcut for line is L. You can also press L to activate the line command. Click on line and give the first point. Take your cursor away. Desired length is arrived. Click there. It will create the line of that much length. If you want to create inclined line, take your cursor away in incline direction then give the length then to give the angle press tab button on the keyboard and give the angle then after completion of this line if you want to create arc press the first mouse button and drag the mouse it will start creation of arc then release the mouse again you can continue with the line now it is automatically creating a parallel line click the point Take your cursor further away, click and click. Once your sketch is closed, it will stop the line command automatically. But line command is still active. You can come out of the line by pressing escape button on the keyboard. To give the dimensions to the object, click here and select sketch dimension. Keyboard shortcut for sketch dimension is D. Click on sketch dimension, then click on the object for which you want to give the length and click below. And you can change the length if required. I will make it 80. Enter. If you want to give angle between two objects, select the first object, select the second object. Take your cursor inside and give the angle and press enter. Same way, select the circle and give the radius to it. Select this line and give the length and press escape. Then if you rotate scroll towards you it will zoom the object and if you rotate the scroll button towards monitor it will zoom minus the object and by pressing the scroll button and dragging the mouse it will pan the object if you want to remove this object press first mouse button drag the mouse and release the first button then press delete button on the keyboard if you want to create a reference line or center lines then click here on construction button here then create the object. For line, L is the shortcut. Press L button. Your line will be activated. I will create one vertical line here. Then escape. Again L. Other line from here to here. Escape. L. Then one more line. Escape. Then to create circle, click here and select the circle option. Keyboard shortcut for circle is C. Select this center diameter circle. Give the center point and give the diameter. Enter. Once you press the enter, it applies the lock on the dimension. Click there. Your object will be created. Here I don't want this object in center line. Press escape. Select the object. And click here. It will convert it into a regular object. Click outside. Now I don't want next object to be construction object. By clicking on it, make this option off. Again, give the C for circle. Give the center point. Then give the diameter. Enter, enter. Then I want to create tangent lines to these two circles. Take the line command. Click on this circle. Then take your cursor on the other circle. Then once the tangent symbol is shown, click there. Then press escape. Now tangent is applied on this side but it is not applied on this side. To apply tangent constraint on this side, select the circle. If you want to select multiple object, press ctrl and select other object. Then to scroll down, rotate your scroll button and apply the tangent constraint. Now I want to mirror this line below. For that click here and select the mirror command. Then select the object to mirror. Then to define the mirror line, click here and select this line as a mirror line and click on OK. Then to remove the unwanted object, click here 
and choose the trim command keyboard shortcut for trim is t select trim then click on the object to be removed then zoom it and remove this portion then from here you can zoom fit then from here you can zoom window click first point drag the mouse release the mouse zoom further and remove this arc then zoom fit select here and click on fit then you can pan from here also click on it and press the first button and drag the mouse then from here you can perform the zoom option press the first button and drag the mouse then from here you can give the zoom window click the first point and click the second point then from here zoom fit from here you can undo and from here you can redo if i want to align this circle with this line select the line control select the center point and from here select coincident then again we will delete it press first mouse button drag the mouse release the first button then press delete on the keyboard then to create the ellipse click here and select ellipse option from here give the center point give the horizontal diameter give the vertical diameter then press escape to apply dimension press d then give the two points first point and second point and give the diameter 250 enter same way click on this point and this point and give the vertical diameter 120 then press escape that's all for now thanks for watching we will stop here